So when they, they wanted to um, study the genome, they took pieces, samples from human body of blood, put it on a slide, and then they first looked at it in the microscope, and then they developed a machine that can identify all the parts. So once they developed the machine, all the universities started taking these slides and uh, running them through the machine and putting it into a big database. So sometimes they put the slide right side up, sometimes they put it upside down, but it makes a difference in the order that the machine sees. Uh, my husband developed a, it's called algorithm. It's a mathematical formula to tell whether the machine read the slide right side up or upside down. Gee. So I have no idea how that worked. <laughs> but he said he used geometry. You know, everyone know geometry? Yes. So, yeah, if you're trying to figure out, you know, how long this is or how long this is, that's geometry. Yeah. This is triangle? Yes, triangle. Mm -hmm. So, try. This is, this is called a prefix on a word, meaning something that comes before. Try means three. Try means three. Mm -hmm. So uh, triangle or uh, let me think of some other words. Um, we, <laughs> we did. Uh, we were talking about women having many children at the same time. <laughs> so if you have twins or two, triplet. Triplet is three. Quad. Yeah. So when you see quad, that's going to be four. Mm -hmm. Five. That was the one I got wrong. Um, Quinn, Quinn. Five is Quinn. Um, quadruplet. 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 Yes. Yeah. And just like you can say triple, meaning three times, you can say quadruple, meaning four times. Yeah. So in, in English words, sometimes uh, the letters that go at the beginning will tell you something about the word. So when you see quint, you know it's got something to do with five. Quintuplets. Yeah, this is pronounced as if it's W, quintuplets. Q 
Q U uh, usually makes W, like Q W. Yeah. Pronounced this way, like, like as if it's as if this U is W. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Q U sounds like Q U. So Quinn. If if another word beginning of the quick and quinn is mean four and five. Mm -hmm. Quint. Quint. Quint and quint is five. Quad is four. Yeah. When you see it at the beginning of a word, that's what it means. Um, let's see if I can remember them now. Six. Kind of blanking. It begins with begins with non. Uh, I think it was non uplet. This one, although it can mean nine, uh, it can also mean not. 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 Um, uh, we say an NGO is non-profit, meaning not for profit. Uh, if uh, I would describe myself as a non-Thai speaker, I don't know how to speak Thai. So these others. When you, when you see this beginning here, uh -huh. it's pretty reliable that it refers to the numbers. But non, uh -huh. it can refer to nine, or it can mean not. Uh -huh. Different meanings. Different meanings, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'd say most of <laughs> the reason I don't say all the time is because every time I think I have a rule, there's an exception. Uh, but this is good. This is quint, quint, quad, try. You can be, it is a big hint that there's a number, number. that it has to do with the number. Uh, sept, that's sept and oct. Mm -hmm. You can be pretty sure it's going to be seven, something to do with seven and eight. Okay. Except mm -hmm. not mean not. Except nanuplets mean not. It, mo in most words, it's going to mean not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In this case, it refers to the number nine. Uh -huh. And I'm not not sure I spelled this one correctly. <laughs> Because I never, even as a nurse, saw someone have nine babies. <laughs> so, and uh, to say someone is a twin, or a triplet, or quadruplet, etc., it has to be more than one child born at the same time of the same mother. So, if I have two boys, one is five, one is six. They are not twins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After having my son taking care of a very active baby, uh, I got pregnant again and I prayed every day, not twins, not twins. <laughs> <laughs> there are twins everywhere in my family and oh. in my husband's family. I don't know how women do it. Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, you have a 
twin genes. Twin twins. Yeah. Twin Cities is Minneapolis and St. Paul in Minnesota. Yep. <laughs> do they okay. not uh, have a genetic for twins? Do they not have a uh, genetics? Genetics Genetic. Oh, uh, genetics for twins? Yes, every human. Has oh you're thinking you're identical yeah, yeah, identical okay yeah okay so twins they can look the same way or not you can have a boy and a girl who are twins born at the same time from the same mother so um, what happens is if they're called identical twins if they look exactly alike. So what happens is the, the cell that's going to become the baby, uh, if they're identical, that cell will split, come apart, then you have two babies. If it's a boy and a girl, that means there were two cells, just happened to be, uh, become a baby at the same time. And two and, and Two of everything. And, Yes. Um, so it starts like this, and then it kind of becomes like if 